The new version of the Scorpion engine has two main new features, which are smooth slopes and animation loop offsets. Uh, we can see both of these in our new demo, so I'm just going to quickly go over how we set both of those up. So let's have a look at our run right animation. So what happens here is if the player is still running when it gets to the end of its run cycle, it then switches to this lightning fast animation. We've got it simply set that this second to last frame is a loop frame. And we have a very similar setup in our idle animation. So we show the player skidding for half a second. Then it just stands there, not doing anything. And then after that, if the player still isn't moved, then it switches to this dancing cycle. And again, this the start of the dancing cycle, we've got that configured as our loop frame. Now, to configure slopes, we need to create block objects for each of the slopes. Uh, you can see here there's a large variety of slopes. So we've got some very sharp slopes, but we've also got some much smoother ones. The image itself here is used to generate the collision volume. So for each of these, I've ticked is slope so that um, so that it generates a collision mask out of that block. I've also got it set as is invisible because we don't want this the purple block to actually visibly show up in the level. So if we switch to our map, uh, we can turn on and off our objects layer. And you can see all I've done is I've just taken the background from this uh, level from Sonic, and then I've applied smooth slopes everywhere on top of it. 